This is speed. He's the biggest Ronaldo fan in the world. But sadly, he's terrible at football. I mean, just look at his performance at the Sidemen charity match. He missed a penalty and even Bruh. a tap-in. But today, we're going to fulfill his dream of becoming a footballer. I'm going to play his career for 10 seasons. And let's see if we can get him a move to his dream club, Manchester United. Maybe win the Champions League or even the Ballon d'Or like his idol, Ronaldo. All right, guys, hold up. Champions League, Ballon d'Or, no, 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 no. That's just way far ahead. I put him in FIFA, though, giving him a 55 overall which I think is super generous. But look at speed stats in-game. Of course, I had to give him 99 pace. That's the only thing you can do on a football pitch. Run pretty fast. Yeah, 28 penalties. I think we all know why. Okay, but I gave him 82 slight tackling. Because come on, man. His slight tackles at KSI, legendary. Also, 85 aggression. Have you seen him bark? But yeah, 10 seasons with this speed. I don't know how it's going to go. The only thing that's going his way is his age. So he's got time to grow into a better player and we'll see how things go. But talent is not with him really. I kind of want to see if we can get speed to emulate Cristiano Ronaldo's career. So we've got him starting and sporting. But yeah, the thing is he's nothing like Ronaldo. He's got two star skill moves, one star weak foot, horrendous stats all round. I really don't know how he's going to do in this first season, but I just wanted to see if we let him emulate Ronaldo's career. Would that even work out? So first season at sporting, he definitely won't be a starter, but I guess I can put him on the bench. And I'm curious to see if speed can get some game time in the Portuguese league. We're making it through the first season, and honestly, if Speed can even get, like, one goal this season, I'd say that's an absolute win. All right, guys, we've made it to the end of the season, and Speed has actually gone up by a couple of ratings, up to a 57. That isn't too bad, you know? And he played six games this season, five in the Portuguese League, and even a Europa League game. But let's not talk about his performances, because he scored zero goals, and he's a striker. I'm not gonna lie, guys, I think putting Speed in the Portuguese League is a bit too much. We probably need to find something more of his level. Otherwise, I don't think there's any way we can get him to a decent overall at any point. I think in the first season, we've established that Speed does not have the talent to follow Ronaldo's path. So for season two, we're finding Speed a club that's more suited to his level. And that is one of the worst clubs in the entirety of FIFA, UCD AFC. They play in the Irish League. They're practically a one-star club. And I think Speed could get a lot of game time here. So for just 600,000 and Speed is making his first transfer off to the Irish League he goes. By the way, I just realized that Speed probably has bigger streaming deals than this actual transfer fee in game. Also, look at the contract he's getting at UCD. £500 per week. That's it. Oh, there's a 10 goal bonus, which I'm curious to see if Speed can hit. Based on what we've seen so far, probably not, but let's see. Okay, I think we have made the right choice coming to this club, guys, because Speed is somehow one of the better players in this team. I think, yes, yeah, Speed's the best driver. God, that way he should get a ton of game time. Oh, also, let's give him that number seven jersey, of course. Yep, guys, Speed is going to be a starting striker for this club, which is awesome. Let's also chuck in development plans on him so he can grow rapidly. A poacher plan, I think, would be nice, but I want to get that weak foot and all up as well. So, yeah, let's do complete striker. Let's do that. Get that weak foot up so he can at least use his left foot. All right, Speed, we've got you to a club that's more suited to your level. Come on, we need to see some goals this season. Okay, guys, I'm a bit confused. I think the Irish League works completely differently because the season's apparently over. Like, yeah, we end up finishing 8th and there are literally no more games. I'm very confused. We're only in November now. But hey, at least in just a couple of months, Speed has gone up by a couple of ratings, which is pretty good. Oh, and look at this, guys. He actually got himself a goal. Let's go. That's goal number one for Speed and we'll be tracking and seeing how many goals he can score over the course of these 10 seasons. All right, we've now completed one full year with Speed at UCD. And honestly, his Overall, has gone up to a 64. I bet he scored a ton of goals because of it. I mean, he's literally now the best player of this team. Wait, what? He didn't play a single game? Was he Was he injured? I don't get this. Well, clearly, it's turning out being a lot more difficult to become a professional top-class footballer for speed. Maybe I think he should just get back to streaming. Nah, but I don't get what went wrong because his overall went up pretty well. He's now got a five-star week, but he's a lot better than he was. Do you know what? I think, I think there's been a falling out with the coach. Speed probably bought 
after the manager. You you just know. Okay, for season three, I think speed needs another change of surroundings. What could be easier than playing in the Irish League? Probably the fourth division of English football. So that's where we're sending speed next. We've got him joining Harrogate Town. Come on, man. Surely EFL League 2 is where speed can actually do something. I mean, look at his stats. They're actually, I mean, if you look at his stats, it does not look like the stats of a striker. He's somehow got 80 Bruh. slide tackling, 85 aggression. Hopefully this season we can see him get some goals. By the way, in his contract with Harrogate Town, Speed negotiated that for five goals he'll get a bonus. Which, by the way, things are going, I'm pretty sure he won't it. But let's see. I think Poacher is the best one because we need to get that finishing off. Yeah, let, let's put him on a Poacher development plan. Also, one more thing. If we make Speed a winger, would that be more beneficial? We'll maybe think about it later. But for now, let's give him that number seven at Harrogate. And it's time to get through the season and see if Speed can actually score goals. End of the season and looks like we did it, guys. We've got Speed to a 69 overall. How fitting is that? Plus five this season. Surely that means... Yup, he scored goals. 15 goals and even an assist. In fact, two of them. Fair enough. I think we found Speed's level, though, in football. It's definitely EFL League 2. But hey, he's getting better. So far in three seasons, Speed's career has been a bit weird. Starting at Sporting, heading to UCD in Ireland, and then Harrogate Town. But hey, he scored a total of 16 goals so far. And now that he's 69 rated, maybe we can think of moving him up to a better club. For season four, I think it's time we start testing Speed. We need to put him in a better division. So I'm going to put him on the transfer list and let's see what kind of offers come for him. Okay, it's taken us almost two weeks, but we finally got an offer from FC St. Pauli. 5.6 million is what they're willing to pay, but where are they even from? Are they from the Bundesliga? It kind of sounds like that. FC St. Pauli. Okay, not the Bundesliga. Maybe the second division? Oh yeah, they are. So they are in the second division of Germany. That might be a really good jump up, you know, for speed. I think this might be the next step in speed's career. Yo, his career trajectory has been so freaking weird, like honestly. But I guess that's what happens when you're kind of a finished footballer. Next thing you know, we've got speed on a flight to Germany. Yup, he's joining St. Pauli. I cannot believe this is happening. But hey, he's finally proved that he can score goals. 16 in total so far. He's now 70 rated as well. The highest rated striker at the club at least. Maybe this could be the stepping stone he needs to get to Manchester United. Alright, I'm thinking once again, let's put him on a development plan for the finishing, positioning, shot power and everything. And it's time to see if Speed can thrive in the second division of German football. Let's go Speed! Scoring 10 goals in the second division of Germany. That isn't bad at all. 35 appearances as well. And look at his overall too. He's got him to a 74. Somehow Speed has kind of turned his career around. Look at his stats as well. He's gone up to an 80 finishing. Okay, let's not talk about the passing and dribbling, but Speed is now becoming a decent footballer, and maybe soon we can get him that move to Manchester United. Oh, wow, he almost helped St. Pauli get promoted, but wasn't enough. It wasn't quite enough. After four seasons, though, Speed's career is looking pretty decent. He's now scored 26 goals in total. Four different clubs, though, and for season five, we may add a fifth, because I'm thinking, why not help Speed fulfill his dream of playing alongside Ronaldo? And for that, we're gonna have to send him to the desert. For season five, we're sending Speed to Al Nasser. Yup, he's going to Saudi. I know he may be a bit too young for that, but hey, this is his chance to play with his idol. Can you imagine both Cristiano and Speed doing Sui together? Alright guys, it's time for Speed to meet Cristiano Ronaldo. He should be standing there right in front of him, but wait, wait, that, that's not Ronaldo. Guys, Speed is at Al Nasser, but th there's no Cristiano here. W what's happened? No way, I completely forgot. We're in 2026 and of course Cristiano has, has probably retired. Yup guys, Cristiano's gone. Yup, he's, he's not in the game. Cristiano Ronaldo is retired. Oh, that means we've just put speed at Al Nasser for no reason. We could have maybe joined a Premier League club and stayed at the bench and developed. I think we've taken a massive Elliot. Okay, man, at least for one season, we've got to try and, you know, get the best out of the situation. First of all, we're taking the number seven jersey in the honor of Ronaldo. I mean, it's a jersey that Ronaldo wore here at Al Nasser. Next thing, we're going to use this season to just grow in our overall as much as possible. So maybe next season, we're ready for a top league club. Do you know what? Now that I think about it, the Saudi league might be perfect for speed. Well, use his space, score a ton of goals and get that overall up. But let's hope for that. We're speeding through the season. Uh, no pun intended. Okay, that was a bad one. We've made it to the end of the season and speed has done it. 82 overall. Oh, come on now. 
on. I guess the decision to have him at the Saudi league has been perfect as top scorer as well for the club. In fact, he was the fourth top scorer in the Saudi league as well. Sadly, though, he's still yet to win a trophy. I guess that's fine, though, because now we've got speed to a point where I think we could get some offers from decent clubs. We've spent five seasons of getting speed from a completely incompetent footballer to a player who scored 47 goals and played for five different clubs. That, I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing. But anyways, time to see if we can land speed a big money move. Also, guys, we're getting closer and closer to 900k subscribers. And if you guys can help me out, that would be amazing. Subscribe to the channel. For season six, I'm putting speed on the transfer list. He's 82 rated now. Surely they're going to be some decent offers. Who knows? Maybe Man United are going to come calling. Wait a minute. First offer we get is from Club Bruges? Nah, nah, nah. We've not grown speed to an 82 overall to be in Belgium. Nah, 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 nah. I'm rejecting this one, although they're paying crazy money for speed. Look at what he's worth now. Ooh, this is interesting. Nottingham Forest. First thing, I'm just checking if Nottingham Forest are in the Premier League. If they are, then it makes sense to join them, man. Get some experience in the Prem, and yup, they are. We could be taking speed to the Premier League, and maybe being in the Prem will help him get noticed by Man United. After accepting the offer, we've got speed joining a Premier League club in Nottingham Forest. Okay, guys, I think we did the right thing to get him at Nottingham Forest, because these guys have got a very good team. Look at the player speed is going to play alongside. He's got Sordloth up top alongside him. He's six foot five. This Lupinia guy who's in cam. Dominguez, Zubimendi, Scalvini. Since when have Nottingham Forest become this good? Well, it's good for speed, I guess. Feels like now the serious business is about to start with speed. Like his real career is about to begin. And I'm thinking, let's put him on a mobile striker plan as well to get those skill moves up. Because we need to see speed doing the elasticos and everything. It's time for speed's Premier League debut. And I'm so curious to see if he can actually score. That would be insane. And yo, he ends up scoring the winner. But can he keep this up for the rest of the season? End of the season, speed has gone up to an 85 overall. And look at this. He ended up scoring 22 goals in the Premier League. Could that be enough to win the Golden Boot? Are you actually kidding me, guys? Look at this. Speed has won the Golden Boot in the Premier League with Nottingham Forest. Guys, I didn't expect that, especially if you told me this would happen when we started off this career with speed. No, no, no. This is crazy. Obviously, because he's playing for Nottingham Forest, they didn't really do much. But after a season like this, maybe the time has come for speed. Season 7, and it's finally time for speed to fulfill his dream. We're making him sign for Manchester United. Actually, can't believe we've pulled this off, but I think speed has earned it. We've sent him to the weirdest clubs in the world. He won the golden boot for Nottingham Forest. And now, deservedly so, he is at the club Cristiano Ronaldo once played for. All right, man, we've got an 85 rated speed at Manchester United. He's wearing the kit of Ronaldo as well. Ooh, but look at that. He's got competition here. Hugo Ekatike. But speed's higher rated, so he's going to be a starter. Look at that. He's going to play alongside Rashford, Tonali, Lisandro Martinez. Let's go. First season for speed at Man United. I want him to win the Premier League. Maybe another golden boot as well. Let's see what happens. Also, remember how we put a development plan to boost his skill moves? Look at that. Now he's got five star, five star. Let's put him on a complete striker plan and see how he grows this season. We're getting through the Premier League season and let's see how speed does at Manchester United. Oh no, speed's first season in the Premier League and it's not as good as I expected. Just 13 goals. Hey, at least he went up to an 88 overall. No, speed came so close to winning the Premier League. Guys, I think Speed went trophyless this season, which isn't good. What about the Champions League? Wait, Manchester United weren't even there? Surely the Europa League? No, they weren't even in the Europa League. Guys, I think Speed has joined a finished Manchester United team. We're going to keep Speed at Man United next season, and I'm hoping he can win the Prem in the Champions League. By the way, Speed stats after now seven seasons actually look pretty good. 85 goals. From where he started at a 55 overall, that isn't too bad. But now that he's 88 rated, I kind of want to start pushing him for maybe the Ballon d'Or, the Champions Leagues and everything. But for that, he's going to win those trophies. We're making it through another season, keeping speed at Man United. Can he win the big trophies this time around? We've made it to the end of the season and speed has done it. He's won the Premier League for Man United. Fair play speed. I was not expecting this. Oh, he was also the top scorer at Manchester United this season. 23 goals. Speed even scored five goals in the Champions League. Okay, speed is out here collecting trophies at United. Now, I can't believe this. Speed is going to be playing a Champions League final. What is this alternate universe we've created? Ronaldo pulled it off, but now can 
speed win the Champions League for Manchester United. He could get the Ballon d'Or if he doesn't. And yes, he's done it. He didn't score in this game, but Manchester United win the Champions League. Speed is now 92 rated. He scored over 100 goals, won the Champions League, the Premier League. Surely he could win the Ballon d'Or now. This is a World Cup year, and I'm sure speed is playing for Portugal. They've topped their group. They knocked out Iceland in the round of 16. Got through Austria semi-finals for speed in the World Cup, but no, Italy knocked them out. And it's Norway who end up winning the 2030 World Cup. What even? Speed ended up scoring four goals at the World Cup, though. Fair enough. But with Holland winning the World Cup, I'm not sure whether Speed will win the Ballon d'Or or not. All right, guys. Speed has been nominated for the 2030 Ballon d'Or. Has he done it? Has he done it? Oh, my day. Speed has won the Ballon d'Or at Manchester United. Remember 2008? Ronaldo did the same thing. But do you remember what Ronaldo did after winning the Ballon d'Or at Manchester United? He made the move to Real Madrid. For season nine, it's time to send Speed to Real Madrid to see if he can do what Ronaldo did. We got Ballon d'Or winner Speed playing for Real Madrid and look at the teammates he's going to be playing with. It's time to see what he can do for Real Madrid. Oh wow, Speed has taken a massive L for Real Madrid. Even in the Champions League, they got knocked out and next season, Speed won't even be in the Champions League. Come on, at least tell me Speed scored a ton of goals. Yep, at least he had his most prolific season yet. 34 goals this season. And Speed's total goals now looks awesome. We've got one more season left and I want to see if Speed can win La Liga, so let's find out. Simming through the final season at Madrid, can Speed win a trophy with them? Yes, guys, Speed ends his 10 season career with the dub. He secured La Liga as well. From a 55 overall, we managed to get him to a 93, which is awesome. And another season scoring 32 goals. Also, Speed's made the Europa League final as well. Let's see if he can win that to wrap things up. Yes, he can. Did he score this game? I don't think so. But not gonna lie, over 10 seasons, I think we transformed Speed pretty well. From missing a penalty in the Sidemen charity match to winning the Ballon d'Or. Not bad at all. If you enjoyed this video, why not watch me become the world's best footballer? Click here to watch that.